fucking see. Um, wait a minute. It's day outside. Okay, it's light outside right now, so okay, better check later to see if there's um stars in the moon. So yeah, okay guys. So I am gonna be reviewing the Pixar short from La Luna right now. So yeah, cue the intro. <laughs> short film La Luna came in the year of 2011 so yeah even though it did um came out in the um in the international um NSC um film festival in 2011 and it came out in front of Brave in 2012 so yeah so yeah so let's get back on to the plot of the movie so yeah so basically the plot spot you have a a son a father and a grandfather who are basically fishing and they um saw a moon filled of glass stars and they um cleaned it up so yeah so that's basically what the plot's about so yeah so yeah guys what do i think of this short i have to say this is definitely one of pixar's best shorts like it's definitely such a beautiful short like definitely one of pixar's most gorgeous looking shorts ever like i'll get into the animation later which to be honest this short was also directed by Alico Casaroso, who also directed luca this year which i thought luca was a really great film very well done pixar movie so yeah and even i definitely thought this was well done as well like and even this short is actually pretty cute as well it's also pretty sweet like yeah and yeah they um also yeah and and um the father and the son and the grandfather actually um clean up the moon which i thought was bittersweet so yeah and also um yeah and also this is actually um an Italian short, like, yeah, and, yeah, and, and, yeah, and, basically, um, yeah, and also there was a scene where, um, that's, um, uh, that son, uh, actually, um, uh, actually, basically, um, um, goes up to the moon, and he floats and goes on the moon with the glass stars, which I found that to be pretty clever, so, yeah, and even, um, yeah, and there was a scene where, um, where the the son and the father and also the grandfather also um left um after they clean up the the glass stars on the moon they um they um went down to their boat and they um left so yeah and I have to say that was actually pretty sweet so yeah and I have to say yeah this short was actually um seven minutes long but yeah and also um basically um describe this short is basically yeah. And basically, yeah, it's such a very beautiful short. It has, and surprisingly, this um, short doesn't have any dialogue, similar to Bao. Like, yeah, which came out, in, which um, Bao didn't come out until um, 2018, which, yeah, which that's pretty cool. So, yeah, and also the score by Marco Giacchino, I have to say, possibly one of his best scores ever. Like, yeah. Besides, um, is Coco's score, and basically, um, uh, yeah, and even The Incredibles as well, like, yeah, and even, um, the animation in the short, I have to say, let's now get into the animation, it looks fantastic, even to, um, um, 10 years later, it still looks fantastic, like, yeah, and, um, and yeah, and, yeah, Considering that this is a legal Casaroso, that he likes making his designs to be a lot more unique. But yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, and even I already reviewed the Pixar movie on um, Luca on Friday, and I decided to review um the Pixar short La Luna today. So yeah, and yeah, and yeah, this yeah yeah, and even I I love how colorful the animation looks in this movie. It just looks phenomenal. Like it still looks gorgeous. Like yeah. So overall, Lolona is definitely a fantastic um, Pixar short. So yeah, if you haven't seen this movie, guys, where have you been? I highly recommend it. It's now streaming on Disney Plus. So yeah. So I'm gonna give Lolona a. Uh...
10 out of 10. Spectacular. So, yeah, guys, what do you think of my school review on Ruruga? So, yeah, make sure to comment, like, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to like this video. So, yeah. So, stay tuned for my movie review on The Sandlot coming this Thursday on July 1st. So, yeah. So, I'll see you guys later. And, bye. Bye.